The difficulty of cancer treatments is that there's often quite a range to choose from, so you never know exactly which one the patient's going to respond to. So researchers have developed this really clever way of being able to take a tumour out of a patient's body and put them into the lab. And I'm joined now by a clinical oncologist and also the lead researcher in this study, Professor Peter Gibbs. Professor, just how effective has this been? Yeah, we're seeing some really good results. So overall, it's about 80% accuracy. So that means we take a biopsy from the patient and we grow the organoids in the laboratory. We treat them in the laboratory with chemotherapy that the patient would get. And then we see what's the correlation between what happens in the laboratory and what happens in the patient. And most importantly, what we're seeing is if the tumours are killed or affected in the laboratory, then that works quite well in the patient. And if it doesn't work in the laboratory, we can see it won't work in the patient, which is probably the most important aspect of the research. Tell us a little bit more about the process and this great name that you've got of these organoids. Just how big are they? So they're microscopic. These are things we look at under the microscope. And we grow hundreds of these tiny little cancers from each biopsy that we take. And then we can treat them with different drugs or different combinations of drugs and pretty quickly get an idea what's likely to work and what's not likely to work. What we're doing currently as part of routine care, we give chemotherapy treatment our best choice. But we wait two or three months, uh, patients are having treatment before we can do a scan and say what's not working. It'd be great if we knew before we started what's going to work, what's the most effective treatment and what's not going to work. And as a clinical oncologist, how important is this? Because how prevalent is bowel cancer in particular? Unfortunately, bowel cancer is still a problem and it's an increasing problem and particularly in younger people. It's the second most common cause of cancer death in Australia and we do need new treatments and more effective treatments. A lot of progress being made in trials, new drugs are becoming available, but what that means is we need to get better at choosing which drugs to give to which patient. And you've also been able to use drugs that wouldn't normally be on a bowel cancer patient. Yeah, that's exciting as well. So we're expanding the options for patients, not just part of what we consider routine care, but other chemotherapy drugs, other drugs that don't usually work, but in an occasional patient can be a very good treatment. So if we can find those as well, it adds to our options. It's exciting because it's relevant to all cancer types. So along with colorectal cancer, we're studying brain cancers and pancreas cancers, head and neck cancers here at Weihai. Others around the world are looking at different tumour types. It's got a lot of potential for all of those different cancers. What is the next step now? So the next step is a much larger clinical trial. It'll be patients newly diagnosed with advanced bowel cancer. We'll be taking a biopsy before we start the treatment and we'll be giving the organoid results back to the clinician and they'll be helping, that'll be helping them to choose the best treatment for those patients. This is a study that will recruit over two or three years across sites in Melbourne and after that time we should have a really good idea about the promise and potential for this moving forwards. Sounds great. So hopefully we get a real amount of success from this. There are dozens of people that are working on this, not just scientists, but also the clinicians out in the hospital. Hopefully it could mean personalised medicine for the future.